Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to work on my big green egg, which is in dire need of some help. So this band that goes all the way around uh, is rusted. The hinges are rusted. The inside you can see is in pretty bad shape. This is all rusted out. This uh, seal on the inside is all, it, it's basically, it all needs to be replaced. Okay. So this one, this piece is heavy. Now, complete hinge assembly. Comes with a nice new wooden handle. This should actually be a great improvement to the original. So. Okay. Oh, wow. These instructions look really nice. They're sort of partially assembled already. Oh, those are really rusted. Oh, this is in bad shape. turning really huh oh wow that is bent all right this is nice and loose make sure it's loose all the way around let's loosen this one now in here and lift this off. Oh, it's heavy. It's probably about 50 pounds. Okay. So for the old mechanism. Came off pretty easy. Got the old one in this box. That way it's not just gonna drop stuff everywhere. Okay, so we'll come back to this. What I need to do is clean off. Ooh, this is nasty. It's like all wet. don't want to use anything abrasive I'm just using a like a wheel brush but you can see I'm just getting all the chunks off should be good enough let's see how easy it is to get this off now. oh yeah love it when it comes off in one piece.
Oh, perfect. Okay, I've got some tools here. This is a chisel. I did this the last time and I got a lot of criticism for it just because it's very sharp and you can you can damage this. You want this to be as flat as possible. So I got these to try to, these are just wire brushes. See if I can scrape off that way. And then lastly, I've got some of this goof off to try to get the rest of it off. Looks just like the residue is on there. Already hurting myself. Let's try this. Ow. Let's try it this way. I'm not sure that's gonna work. gets the rough stuff off not the gooey stuff and this is really bad okay let's see how this works if it works let's see I'll put some on here first Okay, it's a new day. I had put this back just, you know, on top. So I, because I didn't want to leave it open in the rain. So I just put this stuff right back. And now I will just, oh, of course, the, there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit stuck. So what I want to do is just go over this, now that it's dried out, I'm just going to go over it with a sander. So you're going to peel this back only while you're sticking it. Because it's extremely sticky, you don't want that to get on anything. <clears throat>
Okay, now we're gonna look at this hardware, which is really nicely laid out. And I don't think there's a difference between these. Well, those I'm pretty sure they're the same size, I'm almost positive. Oh, it's starting to get warm out here. All right, you're gonna have these blue spacers and basically you want to push them in and you basically want there to be gap between there and then once you have your spacers in which you'll put four around each side like that then you can tighten down and do the bottom one first and then do the top one that's what it looks like I found that this top piece was very tight 
I couldn't even get the washer on. That's how tight it was. Um, so once you're good with that, then you'll tighten these down. It lifts the lid and moves it back just a little bit. And then it brings it forward. Okay, time for this thing. Gosh, it's so sunny outside. That's on, very nice. Take these off. So the only thing I wasn't able to use was this washer. However, the instructions say after 90 days, they want you to tighten everything back down again. So it's possible with metal expansion that it might loosen up a little bit. So once that happens, I will loosen it up, see if I can slip this on and tighten it up again. All right, so that's that. Super nice. All right, one thing, when you put these on, you want to let them cure for 24 hours, the glue. So don't light this up uh, as much as I want to light that up. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. We had a little bit of rain. And let's see what it would look like now. One nice thing is that the spring with the redesign, the spring actually helps you lift and then to a certain point, and then you have to kind of push it to, to get it to stay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna burn the rest of this out of here. Across this way. Okay, a few minutes later, we got some coals, so I'll put this down. Let this warm up a little bit. Just let that burn off. Hopefully any, anything that's inside will burn off as well, any mold and stuff. Okay, it's the next day. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, it's all burned off by now. We can just clean all this out. And that's my old grate, which this was actually pretty good. But let's look at the new one. So the new one is cast iron. This is substantial okay onto the home stretch Let's see oh yeah very nice heavy. Okay, so to prepare this for cooking, we're going to wash this with soapy water, 
warm soapy water, dry it all off. I've just got some vegetable oil. I've tried, I've used cooking spray before. Um, I'm gonna try to do it a little bit differently this time and just put it, put my hand in this bag and just rub the whole thing with oil uh, on both sides. And then I'm gonna cook, I'm just gonna not cook, but but uh, put some coals on and let, let that oil sort of bake into the metal and then we'll be totally done. Okay, this is super nice. I really like this new thermometer. And you can see it's smoking. Basically any oil that's on there is just gonna burn off. But uh, yeah, it's looking, looking great. That's all you really need to do is just run, run some coals for a while, let that oil bake into there and you're good to start cooking. All right, well, that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it and glad to have my green egg back to working condition. I'll put links in the description for any of these things I got in case you want to order them. But, uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. This has been, by far been the best grill I've ever owned, and I still stand by that. So even with the fact that I can still get parts for it, it means uh, it has many more good years to come. Thanks for watching.